everyone's talking about love and hip-hop Hollywood this season and although Ray J got Safari to make a shocking confession in episode 3, you know you smashed. The internet is still completely losing it over the fact that Ray J's hat was moved so many times during that confession and the people still have so many questions. With some of you commenting, anyway, notice how many times Ray J beanie shifted. Yo, please pay attention to Ray J's hat. I can't stop crying. Child, I don't know about this, honey. This tea is too blame hot. But did y'all notice Ray J's hat moved like three times? So it was definitely a scene setup. So we just gotta wait and see. Are we going to ignore the fact that Ray J's hat moved like 2,000 times in like 10 seconds? Now that I have seen the video of Ray J hat changing like 304 times in 10 seconds, this scene was heavily edited, so I don't believe he confessed. And someone actually sent me this video from Kendall and his best friends. Best friends? <laughs> This season of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, <laughs> I don't know. They straight clowning. I mean, Ray J setting people up, his hat moving around. I mean, how many takes did y'all do to have this man hat move around like that? That man hat was back here, up here, over there, over here, hanging off his ear. <laughs> what? Where was the PA? Where was the director assistant? Who? Why wasn't nobody paying attention to that? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, this season of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood is with the shits, and I'm here for the shits. I, baby, I'm gonna be right here. I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna be right here waiting for the foolery. And Safari, what? What is wrong with you? Why would you let him set you up like that? See, Ray J smart. That's why I wanted to do business with him. I'm appalled this nigga hat was everywhere, and he still got the answer he needs. Who don't want to do business with that? Go get the money, Ray J. It's all everywhere now, but damn, you know what I'm saying? What the f So yeah, this Ray J hat scandal has gone way too far. Okay. It's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video, and today it's time for a Justin Diego theory, y'all, where I'll be answering questions about whether or not you should let this love and hip-hop Hollywood editing fail ruin this iconic confession or not. <laughs> Now, as a certified petty video editor with over eight years of experience and with all of the authority invested in me by my binge watchers, I place my hand on the petty bible and vow to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God of reality TV. <laughs> It's true, this confessional scene with Safari and Ray J was gold. Or at least it was until you guys started using your common sense. <laughs> but don't you guys know that when you watch reality TV, it's your time to get an escape from reality. Like, hello? You guys are like ruining a good thing here. Here's the thing about editing. We have one job and one job only. That job is to cut through the BS and keep you guys entertained as long as possible. No matter how good the conversation is, a really good video editor knows when to chop and screw that footage to where you guys don't even realize that they cut out a bunch of crap. But sometimes it's not as easy as you may think. The truth is someone on the ground that was like actually there at the shoot should have asked Ray J to completely remove the hat at some point. Due to the fact that the tea was so piping hot, the producers just sat back and kind of let Ray J work his magic. Why did you do that? Listen, I thought that you would deny it, deny it, and I could clear your name, but now that you admitted it, I don't think I wanted to know. But with that being said, some of you are saying that the round of musical chairs that Ray J's hat was playing suggests that the scene was entirely scripted and nothing more than like a staged conversation, but I can definitely understand why you would have come to those conclusions. Instead, think of it this way. There was obviously a really long conversation that Safari and Ray J had. I mean, at the end of the day, those are some pretty big allegations 
that they would have had to like sort through and i think that as like a producer i would rather sit back and like let them work through it and then chop and screw the footage later because there was no way that safari would have admitted the first time you know that he and lyrica had done anything to get like someone to open up that way, it definitely does take time. And as you guys can see, the hat had time to move so often because it wasn't a 10 second situation. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever wore a hat or a tobacco, but those things be getting hot. I don't care how cold it is outside. And Ray J, you know, again, this was some piping hot tea. So Ray J, you know, it's kind of like he was fidgeting around with the hat and to me, I'll allow it because at the end of the day, it's like really fun to like watch scenes like that and to like sit here and like speculate. Now, I will be clear that I really don't know if that was like a true confession or not because I have to admit, now that I've watched the footage again, I can see how Safari may have never really made the confession because as an editor, I can see where there was like a few tricks here and there, like some slicing and dicing. A1 and Lula got back together. Back on lock, she admitted it, man. So she said, me and her. You know you smashed. What did you do? Like, I didn't mean for it to happen, it's just, we be talking, hey, what's up, I want you to get on the song, and then... Why did you do that? But I think that their intention was to really come here and get a real confession, but instead, we kind of got the next best thing, and to be honest, I, you know, this is not really a big deal. Like, you know, it's clear that this probably wasn't the true confession, but... I don't think they're gonna leave it like this. Later on, we're gonna find out the true T, and to be honest, I'm okay with that. And I think that that's exactly why the cast seem to be having fun with this whole hat situation that has now gone viral. Look, I'm gonna need everybody to know that in everything I do, I keep it real in everything I do. I don't fake it, I don't front it. Like, I'm not even with the antics or none of the whole faking. I'm just trying to do what I got to do in every form of life. They have even started the Ray J hat challenge to really keep the conversation going. With Ray J posting, Me, let's talk about this hat. It was having a hard time getting comfortable on my head. Thoughts, please? LOL, because this hat is going viral. WTF. <laughs> and his wife princess love in the comments you know she ain't trying to let y'all side chicks all in the comments she wanted to be like that first one that you saw saying your hat was avoiding you like safari was avoiding the questions <laughs> I clearly don't know how to sound like Princess Love, but pretty soon Safari actually started getting in on the fun himself, commenting, Hey, Ray J had changed places more than I changed TV shows. And y'all, that's like shade at himself and is kind of true tea. <laughs> Are you guys convinced that this was all a scheme or do you understand now how these things just happen? Comment below and let me know. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. This whole thing is getting blown out of proportion. Look, I can explain, but I just don't think right now is the time. Are you even listening to me right now? Like, I feel like it's going in one ear and out the other. Oh my goodness. Why? With who? Are you for real? Oh my goodness. What did you do? Really? All by yourself? 
All I have to say is, I just hope that Ray J and Safari won't ever have to answer to A1 and Lyrica's mamas because whether it turns out that this was a real confession or not, those two women do not play about their kids. Thank you guys so much for watching this Love and Hip Hop Hollywood video. Please like and share this video on your Twitter and your Facebook to keep the conversation going. Again, thank you so much for watching. I will be in the comments laughing at all of y'all's petty behinds. Until the next one. Oh, we just dropped the RayJHat.com line. Everybody getting these hats. Go pick them up. It's popping. It's super lit. Got a Ray J hat line for babies, okay? Small babies, medium-sized babies, and big babies. All different shapes, sizes, and colors. RayJHat.com. Go get it now. We in the store. 28 West 27th Street. We taking orders now.